Greetings, good people. How are y'all doing out there? And today is going to be a great day giving you a call. Well, I guess I'm not calling you. I'm releasing this video to share a confirmation that I had about our favorite crypto coin, Shiba Inu. So around January of 2023, February 2023, somewhere in there, uh, and just for the record right now, it's September 21st, uh, 2023. Uh, but back around February or uh, January of this year, I was asking God, you know, like, hey, what's going on with this wealth transfer? Uh, what's happening? What, I mean, what's, you know, you know, let me know something. And I was like, well, Lord, can we at least get some movement on AMC? what's going on with amc all right so i was i was primarily asking god about amc because amc is the um prophetic stock that god has confirmed to me i've had dreams about it i've heard words about it so i'm thinking amc right all right but i actually had a confirmation about shiba inu so as you know, I have multiple streams of income. I encourage you to ask God to help you develop multiple streams of income. We know that the Garden of Eden had four streams of water that fed it. Um, the uh, business books, uh, motivational speakers, they let us know that most millionaires have at least seven streams of income. I personally have 11. Um, and uh, I do know of a guy, I don't know him personally, but I do know of a guy who had 16 streams of income. But one of my streams of income is driving Uber. So um, for those out there who are unaware, you can make, I won't say easily, but you can make $100,000 a year driving uh, Uber, Lyft, uh, Instacart, DoorDash, those type of things. So I was driving uh, Uber and I saw this guy who had two dogs. I said, hey, sir, how you doing? Uh, are those Shiba Inu? He said, yeah, those are Shiba Inu dogs. It was two Shiba Inus. I've got a picture up, up there uh, on the screen for you. Um, and remember, there's been a theme that there's going to be two waves of Shiba Inu. Now, that doesn't mean it's only going to be two waves, but we know based on what the prophets have told us that we're looking at two spikes. So this was confirmation. One man had two Shiba Inu dogs. One of them looked a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, and I just, you know, I, I thank God that helped solidify my resolve to continue to invest in Shiba Inu. So I do want to um, let you know that I try to dollar cost average into various different cryptos. But for instance, right now with Shiba Inu, if you uh, were to put, and of course I'm not a financial advisor, this isn't financial advice, uh, you need to ask God what you should do with your money. Uh, if you were to put $10 in the Shiba Inu every week or every time you get paid, you would slowly but surely accumulate more and more coins. But people say, oh, I don't have $10. Think of it this way. $10 of Shiba Inu is about 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 1 .1 million Shiba Inu. Now, is that $10, what you're going to spend on that $10, is that worth the prophetic price point of $1 changing that Shiba Inu into approximately $1.3 million? Let's say you only have faith that it's going to hit $0.10, cents, all right? So let's just take a flat million Shiba Inu, and let's multiply that by $0.10. Cents. Is what you're going to spend that $10 on, is it worth $100,000? So I try to think of the uh, opportunity cost uh, coupled in with the prophetic price points to decide, you know, hey, what's my next step? What should I do concerning um, this money? But of course, always ask God what you should do with your money. Of course, uh, I didn't realize, but a lot of people don't believe in tithing anymore. I think uh, tithing is pretty clear in the Bible. Um, it's before the uh, law, during the law. Uh, during Jesus's ministry and Paul also says that we should tithe so I just I found it very interesting that people don't want to tithe uh, I, I didn't I, I didn't know how widespread not tithing uh, is but you know uh, I think that could explain not all but some of uh, our financial problems 
Uh, of course, people don't like to tithe. Uh, people don't like to read prosperity scriptures. Uh, people don't want to live holy and righteous, but they complain that they don't have any money. But I love y'all in Christ. God bless you with every blessing in Jesus' mighty name.